it fast. Yeah, and it's really fast. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it for that other wheel. Oh, the one in fast forward? Yeah. Really fast? Really fast. It's going to be so fast. With my new editing software, I'm able to do fast forward and then it slowly pans to zoom in. So it like stops and then it slowly goes in. It's my new favorite. You know what's weird is my passenger front is always worse than any other wheel, just like yours. Because it grabs the brake more than this side. Why? I don't know. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be well, even. Both of our cars are the same. I know, but it's, it's weird. quick before we get into the rest of this video is when you rinse foam and then you put the wash pad on everyone in the golf R video was freaking out for some reason because they said that you're not supposed to rinse the car or you're supposed to rinse after foam so my process which has worked and a lot of guys I know do it this way they rinse foam and then they put the wash pad on we're gonna use chemical guys clean slate here wash pad and we're gonna use Adams And then put it in there. Do that. Come do some slow mo. the car after the foam has come off the car so I don't know why everyone was like the foam is still on the car like the foam there's very little foam left so it was dragged off the car fake hood vent uh one side is that's fake that's a fake you one can tell because there's soap in here coke life has low caffeine it's only like 90 milligrams it's like a decaffeinated coffee 90 milligrams? That's, that's a lot. No, that's all there is. 70 milligrams. 70? It's very little. Regular lot. regular coffee is like 400 milligrams. No, it's not. It is so. Of caffeine? Yeah. It's like 100. No. Well, you're way off. What delay industries? No. the right number, but this is an apartment. Yeah, Save your life. Save your life. You've miscalculated that number. Polish is the natural color of polish is white, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what color it is. Not white, blue. Whitish grayish. The polish. Oh the, the yeah. Polish that goes in the pad. Mm -hmm. So if you get the white on the black uh, rubber, you get to like scrub it to clean it. And it's a pain. So taping is much nicer. <laughs> No, it looks fine. All right. First of all, good morning, and uh, welcome to another part of the video. So this is going to be uh, the check-in stage, as I call it, where we're polishing the M3. Um, we did a full 
uh, wheels, wash, decontamination, nanoskin auto scrub or clay bar, and we dried the car, we blew out all the areas, we let it sit overnight, which is the most ideal for me. We did it on a Friday night, come back Saturday morning, and we're gonna take care of polishing. So all the water, almost all of it should have dripped off by now. That's the biggest fear that I have is when you're polishing, the panel's vibrating a little bit. So water, if there's water sitting in there at all, it's gonna come out and go somewhere. So um, we are going to do a very, very light uh, one step uh, polishing or finishing. This is Sonax Perfect Finish, which is an excellent uh, application for that, paired with microfiber finishing pads. And I also have foam polishing pads from Roops. So either way, we'll be really on our way. Um, I like the microfibers a little bit more, just especially once I did the golf, it seemed to play a little bit better with that paint. It just had more results and it didn't really do anything different other than correct or really polish the paint up. So I'm going to do a quick little test panel and uh, I do have two different machines here. I have a uh, five inch or six inch pad on one and then I have, I think this is a three inch pad and I also have these little guys which I can make a, I have a different attachment from Kevin Brown, which I haven't really talked about a lot of my videos, but uh, this little attachment on here, which I know sounds kind of silly because this is smaller than this, uh, but if we're just doing a quick little area, it gets me by and works really well. So that is the plan here, and we will be finishing today and using, oh, well, this is to wipe off the panel. CarPro Eraser is also really good, which I have. I have both of these. And we have our power lock plus the colonite, which is over there, we're shaking it up to finish uh, for the protection for the car. So we'll do that very last. But let's just do a test panel here. I've corrected M3 paint so many times and worked on the E92 so many times that. But this is not quite a correction. Well, no, I mean, it's, I always say correction is just the default. We're polishing up the paint. There's, there's a lot of love marks, some haze in a few areas that, you know, the areas that stick out like by the trunk, the back bumper, any area that gets dirtier and sticks out, especially the fender right here. The hood is not great either, uh, but then you have like the door panel, which I checked earlier, and it was mediocre. So, first step, butter up the pad, get it prepped. I like to use a glove so I can rub in. in all the areas, especially in a microfiber. So that's the Sonics. This is Sonax Perfect Finish. So, and this is a really good machine, really good pad. This is a brand new pad, never used. So, and then you just put a few little dots there. And I will also rub them in. I don't know if a lot of guys do that, but and that's it. Yeah, same thing. It's just way more, well, not way more expensive. It's just more expensive. So. Oh, yeah. the light so this this looks deep it looks great yeah that's great this will be perfect application for this car it's exactly what he wants and there's no reason to go overboard because um, he, he's not as crazy as me but I convinced him that keeping it in pristine shape just a quick polish is really worth it so sweet yeah that's great that's exactly what we want Half the hood is done, other half is not.
not done. Um, two full passes, really, with Sonex Perfect Finish. And I always love pulling the tape up and being able to see the difference, which I can already see, but having a line there is my favorite. So. Shadows usually do not work in your favor. Yeah, so if you look right here, we've got hazy, love marks. And then if we go over here, it's gone. So all the way up. Versus over here, and there will be just a few slightly deeper ones, but we don't want to go crazy. Of course, people mow grass right now. That's the usual situation. Mowing weeds. Mowing whatever, something. Yep, that looks amazing. Camera usually makes it look worse, but I feel like it's making it look better, if anything. And this is a color I love. Look at that. There's nothing. Down here, there's a couple. but so this is a very special car to me special special color interlagos blue so if you guys don't know i have a thing for this color it's a special color for m3s it wasn't a color that came on other cars other than m3 so it's a beautiful color it has it's blue but it has specks of purple it's very metallic and it's it's so amazing with the carbon fiber roof and this is a special car um we're neighbors and i I've been really pretty much begging you to let me do a full detail on it. Essentially, finally, we decided it was the right weekend to do it, and we did everything. We did wheels, wheel wells, door sills, a full wash. Uh, we did iron out, and we did clay bar slash nano skin auto scrub, dried it, let it sit overnight, and um, kind of let any excess water drip out, which I usually like to do. Came in the morning and just started polishing right away. Sonex Perfect Finish on um, Meguiar's microfiber finishing pad. Pretty much the entire car, except for one little area by the rear badge. I used a little bit of compound just to get that high impact area, just because you go to reach and open the trunk. It's just one of those areas that was see a lot more scratches. So really that's the only special area we took care of. The rest was like, well, very good. Um, this was, you know, not a 100% Pebble Beach 
correction, but it really brought up the color. And then after we did all the polishing, wiped it down with CarPro Eraser, Power Lock, and then of course Colonite. So we have Power Lock, one coat of um, Power Lock, and then one coat of Colonite, which I will put everything in the description. We use microfiber towels, the uh, the buffing towel as well as for the polish as well. So we use every the usual the branded method. You know the stuff I've been using for a while now um, worked really great on this. We did the trim. We didn't do the windows or the interior or the engine bay or anything like that, but generally speaking, it's in good shape. The biggest thing that I wanted to accomplish over the last day or so was really getting the paint to pop and really being able to see a difference. So it's not even sunny, but this thing has tremendous gloss and uh, we, had, we had a good time. So it was, it was a long day and this was sort of just a maintenance polish, very low abrasive, very low heat, very low impact on the paint, the clear coat. So that's what you wanted, and I understand it. You don't want to remove any more. I mean, like I said, you could do this every you know year, every few years, or whatever, and you'd probably be just fine for your ownership experience. But yeah, so it was a long day. That was it. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I tried to show you all the things I was doing rather than explain them for like 20 minutes because a lot of the people that are on this channel understand how to polish a car, uh, what to use when you're removing the polish, for example, how many passes to do. So that's just more specialized video. Maybe I'll do that in the future if you know I feel like I'm smart enough to teach someone that. But yeah, so the car is done, call a night, um, and that's it. I mean, I told you about the whole sweating thing. So if tomorrow the car looks like a little hazy, I wouldn't worry about it. I would just wait till you wash it. Or we can come over and do, you know, detail spray and a wireless wash or something like that, you know, before it gets very dirty, and then we can just do it that way. Because colonite will sweat sometimes the next day, depending on the temperature and just, I guess, just elements and stuff like that. So that was it. This was um, this was fun. That's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've been trying to do a lot more editing, and, you know, upping my editing game, upping my um, transition game and stuff like that. Hopefully, you can tell and appreciate that. Got the lighting game on, and um, that's it. So I'm really tired. So that's that's why I'm like droning on. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. I just want to know which car you'd rather have. This one. Or this one.